James, it's great to have a butcher here in Cornwall at the launch of our Appley event. You know, tell me about the business and why you were attracted to come along today. So, I'm the fifth generation of our family butchers and um, living on the same farm at Kilhallen where we rear red rubies and dexter cattle. And um, we're just in such a beautiful part of the world. You know, we've got we're surrounded by rolling countryside and, and water, the sea, but the most passionate thing that I think that we've got is our food um, you know we, we, we grow some of the best produce there is in the country here in this county of Cornwall and to be transparent about it all that's what the consumer needs and to be part of a movement if you like happening transparency um, I'm very honored to be part of it and to, you know and, and to find out about it it's being supported by well-known people as well which is great so the consumers are going to respond to that because the traceability and the transparency is something that as a family butchers for five generations we've been doing every day the housewife comes in and we tell them exactly what it is we cut the meat off that piece that's hanging behind there and serve them of course, nowadays, shopping has changed, consumerism has changed, so it's packaged meat. So not everybody is so into where the meat comes from, and it's not so in your face where it's come from. So this is so important for us to just get back on there. We're not reinventing everything, we're just telling it as it is. So you're singing and shouting about truth and trust and traceability, but the meat trade, in some instances, is very difficult to follow, isn't it? Where the meat has come from, and potentially some myths, truth being told yes unfortunately they, they there's a saying is the meat trade is full of hooks and crooks um, and it, this, I mean I'm fifth generation so we must as a family been doing something right all this time to still be here and talking to you now so as long as we carry on with that yes there are it, it can be a lucrative industry and there are ways of making money but it's about giving people what they want and if they want honesty and transparency then use your local butcher